is that do you guys think that's starting to become a trend in terms of uh, will that catch on and you'll start see more start seeing more projects with one producer and one artist or is it just that you know hit boy and alchemist are special and they can adapt and, and get with these artists and, and, and make dope projects people just see them as the go-to guys like, what do you guys think about that? Spools, I'm coming to you first on this one because we talked about yeah. this before we came on. Like, are those guys special or is it or is this something that might become a trend? I don't know. I'd like to put DJ Muggs in that category as well. Yep. Like yep. he's made projects over the last several years with a ton of different MCs. Um <clears throat> I don't know. I'm and it's interesting because Nas kind of what broke that mold with Illmatic. Right. Right. When he went and got you know, four or five, whatever different producers. Top notch, uh, all so it's, top notch. It's kind of cool to see it come back full circle, you know. And you know, I, I'm rarely disappointed with projects like this either. Like with Alchemist, I mean the that joint he did with Prodigy, yeah. <laughs> the Albert Einstein or whatever. That shit was Very ridiculous. Good. You know, like Very good. A, lot, a lot of the projects he's done with you know with people, exclusive projects like that are have been solid and. Uh, same for DJ Muggs. I've listened to a ton of those and um, Hit Boy. He dropped like I'm, six of them last year or seven of them. It was yeah. like right. crazy. Right. Yeah. Uh, Hit Boy, I've, I mean, I've always heard of, not as familiar with, and but it's interesting. And that's further interesting to me. Like, and I'll throw this question to you guys, especially Sean and Mike uh, or Major, Major Maha when it comes to you. Uh, <laughs> Thank you, sir. Is, um, what you guys think of his production in general, like of all the producers out there to kind of be on a role like this, like what do you, how, what do you guys think of his production, you know, skill level, in, you know, in comparison to other cats out there right now? Um, well, I'll, I'll jump in real quick. Uh, I, I, I'm familiar with I'm not with saying it, that because I think it's poor or good either right. way. I'm just curious to know what you guys think as producers. Yeah, I'm, you know? I'm, uh, I'm, I'm not in love with Hit Boy's production, but I think he's got a lot of dope stuff. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know. I, I, I think he's on, he's on par with pretty much everybody else for the most part. I think it's kind of back to the, not to jump completely off that question, but to kind of address the other one too. Like there have been, I mean, yeah. outside of Hit Boy, like in mugs, this has been kind of a steady thing for. Um, for a little while now actually like we did see like uh, seeing the chat you know apollo brown's been doing it you know oh, no. oh for sure mm -hmm. you know um definitely on a, on, a under, on an underground on an underground level we've been we've been seeing this for a minute it's really just i think the fact that uh hit boy is kind of crossing thresholds a little bit and it, a lot of the releases are more that's mainstream you know it's like uh, oh now Don does it. he don does it if you guys are familiar with him yeah yeah, there's a lot of people that fact, that really do it, but 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 Hit Boy is like working with Nas, and he's working with apparently Freddie Gibbs, who's really and, hot right now, and, and then Benny, who's really yeah. hot right now, and then you know, like yeah. I, I do think there is a little bit of a difference um, than what Muggs was doing, you know, because he was working with primarily a very exclusive niche of artists. That's um, true. <laughs> but yeah, I'll let Mike. You can talk about that. No, I'm 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 with you. I think I think it's, excuse me, um, major. <laughs> don't do that. I think there's a lot of on the, on a very on the underground underground level. We we see this before. Like somebody put the check, Kev Brown. Kev Brown's another guy that works with a lot of artists. Yeah, exclusively. Hell, Ill Mind and, and and Ninth Wonder did joints back in the day. They did a whole joint. Um, uh, live from the take depth, take take Sky deck. Sky so, Zoo. You no, know, it's it. Sky, I'm sorry, Sky Zoo. You're right. Ninth Wonder and Sky Zoo did uh, Cloud Nine, right? So oh, though these joints have been happening. It's just with Hit Boy, who I think is extremely talented. I'm familiar with a lot of his work, and he's, you know, his versatility is one of the things that stands out to me. Um, the fact that he's doing it on a quote, like, you know, we talk about quote unquote mainstream level, that's different. You do a project with Nas, you do a project with Benny, who's bumping, you know, he who's crazy right now with Rock Nation. Um, and then you, you throw in Freddie Gibbs. He's doing projects with those guys, especially if they're full joints. Like, that's different. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I wanted yeah. to kind of talk about it because, you know, he he's trying to he's kind of taking it to the next level in terms of you know, some of the artists that he's reaching out to. So I'd be curious to see you know, the trend. I've said this multiple times, but I'm really curious to see what he comes up with uh, with Benny. Like, I want to see what types of beats he gives Benny. I think it has yeah, potential to be too. better. 
I think it has potential to be better than the project he dropped with Nas. I really do. You know, so we'll have to kind of kind of wait and see. Jay Div, what, yeah. what are your thoughts on this concept? I, yeah, I would go you. as far as to say as never really stopped. It just hasn't been as mainstream because a lot of artists have been doing it for years and years and years. But with right. Hit Boy doing it, it's just that he's more of a, um, a, a popular producer, so to speak. So th- that's what's kind of drawing attention to him doing it. Um, to me, it, it actually leads the artists to have a more co- cohesive sound, kind of follows and um, uh, peaks at certain levels that artists, because they, they had time to build and actually create something together versus I'm just sending you a beat here and there and you're picking and yep. choosing. You know what I'm right. saying? So I, I kind of like dynamic um see a couple people in the chat saying a few artists like uh mass ace marco polo everybody yeah. knows that blue below the heaven blue and exile oh, below the sure. heavens how, how cohesive that sounded you know is it's just a matter of of finding that that pocket with that artist and producer and uh making it move i'm a big apollo brown fan and i've always you know like appreciated those projects that he's done like that the one with rock marciano i think at one point uh i believe i could be wrong about that one the one with sky zoo sky yeah uh, joel ortiz yeah oc yep. the oh, OC project you. yeah with you and more put a bow on this one before we uh we go to the uh partners and try to get to our last topic well i mean i, I think it's i don't know if it's going to be a trend born out of the fact that you know, we're in this COVID thing. It's it's probably better that uh, a lot of rappers lock in with one producer than to have a whole bunch of people in and out of the studio. Um, it is certainly even working in the studio in that regard. Yeah, yeah. Um, but you know, you got to think about you know LP pretty much uh, doing his thing with uh, with Killer Mike. You can take it back to that. You know, when you're talking about you know somebody locking in with a producer, Jay Z did this with No ID for four four four. So, I mean, I, I think it's it's cool because there was a time when this is what everybody did. You know, I'm old enough to remember when, you know, basically you might have locked in with one, maybe two guys, you know, Larry Smith and and Rick Rubin, uh, you know, Russell Simmons when he was, you know, like I said, people got to remember a lot of those early songs, uh, hip hop joints that we remember and love were actually produced by Russell Simmons. Um, so I, I I like it as a trend because like. You know, I'm one of those people that I really like the new Nas album. Like it has grown on me every time I've listened to it, you know, um, and uh, and within this climate where a lot of times you don't revisit albums just because so much stuff comes out. I've um, right. I've gone back to that Nas album, you know, since it came out and really start, you know, really enjoyed it on a level that I don't really um I haven't enjoyed hip hop albums in, in in a in a while, so you know, shout out to Hit Boy because like honestly, it doesn't sound like the stuff he was doing when he was, you know, under Kanye. You know, like as far as click and 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 ends in Paris and this that and the third. But you know, like you know, when I hear songs like Car eighty five or you know yeah. King's Disease, yeah. like those are my joints right now. So um, I hope it becomes a trend because I like to hear cohesive um, projects yep. as opposed to this this you know. Nothing wrong with a piecemeal, uh, a, a way of putting together a rap album. You know, it's worked for some people, but for some people, it's like, okay, I'll go ahead and get this producer from a West Coast sales. I'll get this producer from my East Coast banger. This is the person I'll get for the single. Yeah, yeah. Okay, and that doesn't, <coughs> it just sounds like, a, it sounds like an artist making a compilation. Right. You know, so, I mean, and that was really how a lot of, when you go back and listen to the late 90s, uh, hip hop albums. That's what it really sounds like. It sounds like artists making a compilation, almost like they're making uh, an album for uh, like a um, like a soundtrack. But it's just one. It's just one artist. But I, I'm I'm glad to see this trend. You know, a lot of times I see trends in hip hop I don't true. like. That's, this is one I do like. To, to his point, that's that's kind of what um, at Outkast stand a lot too. To have an organized noise manufacturing yeah. that oh, yeah. sound for them it it just it gave them that that was something that nobody else could get you know what i'm saying and it yeah. built with yeah. them more yeah. it it just matched with them so well so yeah I, I definitely agree with that sentiment 
Yeah, and as somebody that has done solo projects with artists many times, I have a handful of them actually. Um, I, it's definitely a completely different dynamic working with an artist on an entire scope of something as opposed to just like throwing them something that might fit something that they're already working on. It some I, I'm a big fan of the I, I'm also a big fan of the one producer one artist or maybe not even one pro producer it, just like a team of people working together for a collective project I think that's is what the I'm, word well, yeah you know like it doesn't have to be one yeah. producer but like if you listen to Kendrick's albums there's a whole bunch of people a part of them a part of it but you can tell yeah. that there was a intent intent and intense focus on cohesiveness and um, I'm a fan of that yeah and when it's yeah. It's a collective. No, he works for, a lot with Terrence Martin. Terrence Martin has like a whole Thundercat like, group Line of musicians that he runs with. Yeah. 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 Soundwave is his guy too, man. Like Soundwave sculpted a lot of his early stuff and he keeps him, he keeps him around. Dude is a beast also. So yeah, I'm, you know, you it's one it's one of those things where I, I would like to see it, you know, if it's done right, I would like to see it become more of a trend, you know, if that's the case. But mm -hmm. No, we'll we'll just have to kind of wait and see. But I do want to hear this Benny. You know, I re I'm really curious to see if Hit Boy can can lock in with him. I saw a couple videos where there were some, you know, sneak previews, or you could hear some records in the studio. And from what I heard, this shit sounds dope. So, if you've enjoyed this segment of the New Old Heads podcast, make sure to join our live show every Tuesday at 9 p.m. Eastern at twitch.tv slash bringing down the band, and join our private Discord community with talks on hip hop, music, news, and everything else.